Welcome to Libros de Lunes. My name is Heather Robertson Devine. I'm the owner of Books del Sur, and um, I'm here today to share with you uh, a book from our collection. The book that I'm going to share with you is called El Vampiro Niño Que Soñaba Con Bailar. And I just have to say, like off the bat, the title alone is one of the reasons why we have authentic text. I would have never written the title like this, El Vampiro Niño Que Soñaba Con Bailar. Con Bailar, like in my, in my, in my um, English, very English ingrained brain, Con Bailar is just not how I would say it with dancing, but, um, de bailar, dream, soñaba bailar. That's how I just say it. So that alone is just um, one of the fascinating and things that I love about working with authentic texts. And also this month, we're just featuring stories about friendship. Last week I did Dantos a uh, Quienes Querer, and next week I will be doing um, a story from Esqueleto um, en Vacaciones. And then after that, Todo por una amiga. So this book here is from our guided reading loud, re, guided reading set. So our leveled text, and it's leveled between mid-year first grade, mid-year second grade. Sorry, mid-year second grade through mid-year third grade. My bad. Um, and so I'm excited to share this book with you today because there's actually two common core standards and one that's um, often hard to reach that it does cover. So let me just jump right in and share with you. So the, the common core standard I was excited to share with you about is um, is the is a language standard to, um, in second grade 2.4D even. So we're gonna get that specific. 2.4D is about compound words. And this second story is the one that I'm gonna share with you today. It's called um, Casimiro Casi Limpio. So if you can hear the compound word there is Casimiro, I almost saw Casi Limpio, um, almost clean. So this is a story, an interesting story about friendship. When I was reading the books about friendship, I thought, uh, is this, like I was kind of struggling to find one. And then when I stumbled upon this one, which is the second book in the, in the, or sorry, the second story in this, in this book, um, Casimiro Casilimpio is actually someone who is very dirty and does not like to take baths. So, um, I gotta hold it this way. I think, let me shift. Ugh. Um, yeah, Casimiro, no, that's not gonna work for me. Casimiro Casi Limpio. Okay, so Casimiro Casi Limpio decided, um, I think it is, his, his original name was Casimiro del, Delgadon. Um, Delgadon is like, um, Delgado, form of, form of Delgado, thin. And, um, cuando tenía 15 años, yeah, when he was 15, he decided, I'm not showering, bathing, doing any of that clean stuff anymore. And so that's why he's called Casi Limpio. So he's not very clean anymore. So when he did this, he really isolated himself. And so this is a story about Casi Limpio and how, and it goes on to show like just how like no one wanted to be around him. He was muy apestoso. He smelled really bad. And, and then you can see him here. He actually does feel pretty lonely because he's recognizing that he is on his own. He, and it talks about um, how he um, tomaba el té siempre solo, comía solo, desayunaba solo, casi miro, casi limpio, estaba solo. So he was alone and he was a little bit lonely. And then one day he got home and there was a note. And the note said, um, Los esperamos hoy a las ocho a cenar en calle de Pedregal sin número. So there was an invitation for dinner and so he was so excited to go to dinner and so he walked to dinner and when he got to dinner it was a little bit of a peculiar place and when he went in to dinner the dinner was very peculiar as well you can see the food is a little bit gross um and so he started to eat dinner and he realized and este segundo Casimiro lo entendió todo. Eran los zombies del pueblo. Era tal de mal olor, feo aspecto, de, y, y todo de estos ellos decidieron invitar. So, yeah, so I can go on and read it. But they were, they were smelly. They were zombies. And so Casimiro had this, uh, I, he was like, oh, if these are the people that I'm associated with, and look at them. Oh, they look so scary. 
Casimiro se paró de la silla y dio un salto grande de casi, casi bate un récord olímpico mientras gritaba, No soy uno de ustedes. He said, I am not one of you. And he ran off. And you know what he did? He went home and bathed. And he bathed for three days straight. And then he was no longer casi limpio. He was Casimiro casi, um, Delgado, Delgadón back again. And so, this story reminds me of a dicho in, in Spanish. It's a saying in Spanish. Dime con quien andas y yo te, di, te digo quien eres. So tell me who you are with and I will tell you who you are. And this is a great story about friendship because those friends that you choose, you want to make sure that they represent you and they are like you and that they treat you well and they treat others well because friendship is not only about your relationship with that person, but it's about who that person is at the heart of them, right? So this is this the story about Casimiro Casi Limpio also might bring up some things about some kids in the class not bathing very well and those hygiene issues are definitely important to address because not everyone has the same hygiene, right? And not everyone has access to the same hygiene. So be careful to make sure to navigate that topic, but also let's talk about who your friends are, what, what your friendships mean to you, and who you surround yourself with. And this is a great opportunity for you to discuss compound words. Also, another common core standard is how characters respond to events. So thinking about how Casimiro Casi Limpio responded to the cena, it changed him and he decided, you know what? I don't want to be like them. So it's a great story for you to discuss with um, second, third graders, for you to read with them on an appropriate level. Um, and it's a great story about an aspect of friendship we rarely talk about. So this is um, out of this is one story out of the book El Vampiro Niño Que Soñaba con Bailar. It's available on bookstallsur.org. It's also in our guided reading set for mid year mid year second mid year third our Libros uh, Rojos collection. Have a great week.